Hi YouTube, welcome to Pagan Perspective. This is Megan, aka Spirisary, and today is Friday. So I thought about changing up the scenery a little bit. You see I got uh, the solstice tree um, behind me uh, with all the fun ornaments. I think right there is our, uh, our like Sithmas or something, like it's a Darth Vader. It like says different things um, and you turn it on. Um, and various other things in the background. So anyway, I thought it might be a little bit more fun plus um, like all the light is on this side. So I thought if you don't want me to be in the dark doing this video, then this is where I'm going. So, um, so yeah, so hi everyone. Um, today we are talking about the God conversation. And you know, this is something that, um, uh, it's a really long question and the other hosts have done a great job. Um, I think that it's interesting to me because I've had this come up many times and it's always been something that has bugged me because I get asked sometimes, you know, well, do you believe in God, right? And so that God conversation that the question asker is talking about also implies that God is the Christian God, right? And that really gets to me. And I know that not everybody does. I know some people talk about God in this agnostic way, universal energy type way. Absolutely, there are totally people who do that. However, the people who are asking me, who do you believe in God, are usually asking me, do I believe in the Christian God, right? So the God conversation, you know, that, um, that philosophical, you know, what is omnipresence? What is omnipotent? Um, if uh, if he is, if he never makes mistakes, then you know how are there, you know, kids with cancer and things like that, right? So that conversation, and the other part of it that I think is really important to point out here is also that the word he is put in there that the God conversation is we're always talking about this essence, this energy, this this omni, omnipotent being as a he, right? It's always referred to as uh, a he, the father, all this, right? And as pagans, I think we intrinsically, at least I know for me, we intrinsically don't have that mindset of A, that it's just a male, right? Because more often than not, we uh, we worship uh, or at least venerate male and female energy, right? So gods and goddesses, right? And more often than not, uh, majority of pagans uh, have multi deities, right, in their pantheon. Whether they're um, hard or soft polytheists, you know, whether or not they're worshiping as a deity that they believe. Um, the, in the actual deity itself um, is as an entity or they believe in the energy of what that name of an entity um, does for them, right? And so, because there's just so many different types of pagans out there. Um, so for me, so that's, that's really the only thing I can say because this is the pagan perspective, right? So my perspective on it. Um, for me, I think that I don't really get involved in the God conversation because I'm always asking, I say, well, why is it he? Why is it one, right? So almost everything else uh, in nature, no, not everything. However, the majority of things, it you need both the masculine and the feminine energy in order to um, bring about life, right? Uh, and so if, why, why was this, um, hey, shoo, shoo. Um, sorry, barking puppy. Um, so yeah, I think that those are my biggest questions. When I hear that God conversation brought up, I want to turn it back on them. And honestly, the conversation doesn't go much farther than that. I think pagans are just excluded from it because honestly we have, and you know what, this is probably going to be controversial. Um, but this is just my personal opinion and in no way reflects anybody else. And I have absolutely no scientific background or anything to to hold the statement I just personally feel that pagans spend more time thinking about those questions thinking about deity thinking about what it means to them thinking about 
um, how they relate to deity and how deity relates to them and how deity fits into their life, right? And so I feel like because, in my personal opinion, pagans spend more time thinking about this and talking about it with people, um, other pagans, that the God conversation, it's, it's like we've already gone beyond it. You know, we're already kind of bigger than that. And um, dealing with, I, I feel like, even deeper questions, right? It's what's our place in all of it? What's our place in the God conversation, right? Um, how, how much of our soul is omnipresent, you know, and, and things like that. So um, I just feel like the conversation is being had. It's just on a, a deeper level in some ways, I think. And, um, and, and, um, and so, you know, I, I just, I think that, sorry, there's like, there's so much going on outside right now. <laughs> the dog's going crazy, everything. We've got a whole bunch of chickens. If you have ever been to Hawaii, then you would know that there are chickens everywhere. And so um, all sorts of things. And, um, and she hasn't been particularly feeling well. Um, and so it's she's, she's doing better now, though. Um, so, but it's just, and now the chickens are out. Oh, my goodness. So, so anyway, with the God conversation, I think that really... Pagans have to, in some ways, not have to, I guess, but they do tend to, at least I do, have that relationship with deity in our own way and in our own time. And so it makes us not really be a part of that God conversation because we've already had to kind of figure out what deity is to us. Um, and so to explain all that when somebody says, well, is God, you know, is he um, omnipotent, right? Because the implications already, like, you can't just answer that question. It, you know, there's, are, there's so many assumptions being made. You're already assuming, just by answering it, you're going to lend credence to their assumption that A, God is masculine, uh, that, and B, that there's only one, right? And it, it's just... So it, it's interesting to me. I thought it was a very, very interesting question. But I, I just think that in general, pagans, we think about um, our relationship um, to our spirituality, um, to our faith in a much deeper way sometimes than um, people who might end up going to church, um, you know, who might think about it just while they're in church on Sunday and then um, go home and don't think about it again. Now, that's not to say that there's not theologians out there who, man, could they, they go deep, right? There are some theologians and some people who study the Bible and, and or the Torah. Like, I mean, there's just the Quran. Like, there are amazing, amazingly in-depth, you know, people who, who go into their religion. I just think as a whole, when we have these sort of conversations pagans don't tend to get included as much just because it, it's a difficult topic for them to dig their teeth into because of the assumptions that are already placed on it before it even begins you know what I mean so anyway that's it that's that's how I feel about it and I've got I've got about six hens a rooster and eight no maybe nine little chicklets <laughs> hanging out outside my window um so uh, I would show you but there's like all sorts of things in my way to get there so um but yes they're they're hanging out outside the window so they say hi <laughs> uh, living in Hawaii we have lots and lots of chickens everywhere so um don't worry chickens I'm not gonna eat you um, so yeah, so that's it for today, guys. Um, I think this is a great topic. I think, uh, it's hard to just say why we're not included. I think, you know, I, I know that I've had the conversation with people before. I just know it hasn't always gone particularly well because they're in a place where they, their assumptions of a Christian God, a masculine, um, monotheistic faith doesn't lend to having a the you know a theologian type conversation with me just because uh 
the basis of our faith is so different, you know? So even when I say to them that I fully believe their God exists, I just don't believe it's the only one. Um, <laughs> so I have no problem believing uh, the Christian God exists and that they worship him. Um, I just believe that he's just one of many, one of many, many, many. And, um, and the God and the goddess, the God and the goddess, um, I guess if you put a name to it, um, I just believe they're the mother and father of everything else. So, you know, this is the Christian God to me is sort of like their wayward teenager. <laughs> um, so, you know, everyone has their own thoughts on it, but I thought it was really interesting. And yeah, so I hope you all are having a fantastic week. Um, I am probably going to do some karaoke this week and weekend and, uh, and hit the beach. So uh, if you're doing anything exciting, put it in the comments and I will, oh, I probably won't see you. I don't think we have any more. I think we're taking a break. So if I don't see you before the new year, the, uh, the new year in the USA, I guess, and, um, then happy new year and happy solstice, happy Yule, uh, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, Merry Christmas. And, um, I am so probably forgetting a million others. So my favorite phrase, what I would rather say at this time of year than anything else is happy holidays. As always guys, blessed be and aloha.